going to be installing these V-bar cleated tire chains on my plow truck for the winter. So I've laid them out the way that I want them with the cleats up. Your chains may not have cleats, but if they do, obviously you want them facing outwards. The far end of the chains just has normal chain link ends, nothing special. This end has this cam hook as well as a regular hook. I typically put the cam hook on the inside. So I've got the chains laid out, made sure there's no twists or snags or tangles. So what I'm going to do is carefully pick them up and lay them over the tire. They typically go on really nicely. Again, I have the V-bar cleats facing outward. Just making sure everything is looking good. Okay. Now, this hook on the front is going to hook over to this side, like that. Now, you see, you can put it in different positions. Obviously, that's way too loose. So I'm going to hook it up here. That's better. Now, remember, when I tighten up the back side, it's going to tighten this up more. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back side. So I've got my cam hook and my regular end, and I need to choose where I'm going to position it. Which can be tricky, but I'm going to try for right here. Okay, that's a little too tight, so I'll go back one link. See if I can get it through there. Okay, goes through. So now, you fold your cam back. Like that, and then you slide this little collar over it, like that, and it holds it in place. Now, see, these are kind of hanging a little loose, so I might decide to go around and adjust them. Typically, after you drive on them and spin them a little bit, they'll all loosen up, the tension will work out, and then it'll be loose, and then you can go in and you can move this cam up one more notch. But there's another way that we're going to tension these, which I'll show you right now. Back around to the front side here, we're going to go ahead and tension these up a little bit. These are just ordinary ru rubber cords. And this is the excess chain from when I chose where, what length to make it. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through there so it's not flopping around and then come up to the opposite side, like that. And I'll put another one over here. Like that. And that's going to help keep our chains tight. It's going to pull the back side tight too once things start moving around. And I don't have them right now. I need to go to the store and grab them, but typically I put two more that way I've got plenty of tension on here. These rubber bungees tend to rot out after one winter's worth of use. When I took them off last year, they were just totally cracked. They hadn't broken, but they were not reusable. These are pretty cheap. They're about a buck twenty-five each. So definitely an expense that's worthwhile. Help your chains stay on good. Make sure you don't get stuck when plowing. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this video on installing tire chains was useful. As you can see, I did it with the truck jacked up. You can do it with the truck um, on the ground. You lay the chains out, you back the truck over them, and then you pull them up over and put them on the same way that I did. Thank you for watching.